hello guys welcome to the innovation lab so i just wanted to make a uh, quick battery charging video to address some of the comments and questions that uh, we have received concerning using this constant current dc to dc boost converter system as a battery charging system as to uh, how many batteries can i charge with this system and how high can we go with the charging voltage and i uh, wanted to uh, make a quick video to address some of that and the reason why that we are charging as you can see here this is five uh, 12 volt uh, batteries connected in series to give us about 60 volts so the reason we are charging this amount of batteries um, is that we are actually working on uh, testing this DC to DC boost converter. So uh, we have made a whole lot of videos on this uh, DC to DC boost converter design, uh, which I think it's really, really nice. I like the packaging. Uh, it's affordable. It's not too bad for a, uh, a $30 uh, converter. So, but then I came across this one on Amazon and I wanted to give it a try. So this converter is rated for 900 watts and it's supposed to be able to give us about 120 volts DC. So, but then my goal is to really, really push this converter to the limit by giving it, yeah, one thing I missed was that the rated input voltage is i uh, think about 8 to 60 volts and as most of us know you get the best efficiency out of these converters you get the full 900 watts out of these converters if you apply the maximum input voltage so that is the reason why we are going to be using 60 volts uh, battery at the input my goal is to conduct all the tests using pure dc so that way we're gonna if the converter doesn't perform well we're not gonna say it's because of maybe some uh, ripple noise or uh, something else hindering the performance of the converter so that's why we're gonna use pure dc which is battery system to do it and a friend of mine was uh, kind enough to actually donate these batteries to us so i think we have about eight of them and we're gonna be using them to run this test um you know going forward all right i digress a little bit anyways so i wanted to show you guys this uh can i go over the question is what is the charging voltage that i can get out of this system so the purpose of this video is actually to use this to charge a 60 volt system and as i've mentioned in my previous videos for a 12 volt lead acid battery um, you want to pay attention to the actual charging voltage that you need so um, for a 12 volt lead acid battery system you need about a charging voltage of about 14.4 volts as you guys can see here and uh, you also want to pay attention to the maximum charging current so as you can see here so they said for this one they said initial current of 2.7 amps i'm not exactly sure what that means but i'm gonna treat that as a charging current so our goal will be to stay under 2 amps for charging the entire battery system all right so now that we know the parameters that we need for our battery system so we have the uh, charging voltage of each battery at 14.4 volts we're going to play it safe and we also going to be using two amps uh, as our set charging current so if you do the math we have five batteries here one two three four five so which gives us a nominal battery pack of 60 volts but we're going to need 14.4 uh, multiplied by 5 which is about 72 volts so our goal is to go ahead and set our charging system here we're going to adjust this output uh, voltage here by adjusting this uh, uh, potentiometer here our goal is to adjust the output to 72 volts right now we are reading the the voltage of the battery pack which is at 52.4 volts and when we do that 
we are also going to need to uh, pay attention to the charging current if it is too high or too low we adjust our output current potentiometer here to kind of go ahead and dial it down so as you can see here so when you adjust this counterclockwise you are uh, reducing the output current of the system if you adjust it clockwise you will be increasing the output current of the uh, DC to DC boost converter so to play it safe the first thing I do is to go ahead and adjust the output current of the uh, DC to DC boost converter to a, uh, a very low point. You don't want to go all the way down to zero because if you do that, what you will find out is that the converter will lose output voltage regulation and your output voltage will kind of default to the input voltage. So you want to pay attention to that. Also to play it safe, what I do is to adjust the charging voltage and I do that with the battery system disconnected. And after that, then I go ahead and connect the battery system. So, all right, so let's go ahead and disconnect the battery system. As you can see, let's give it a little time for the uh, converter to discharge. And there you have it. So, all right, so now with our battery uh, system disconnected, so we go ahead and turn on our power rack. All right, as you can see, we have an input voltage of um, 36.92 volts coming in from the power rack. And we also look at the input current it's uh, right now because we don't have really have a, any load it's right about um, 0.05 amps going into the converter all right now looking at the output of the converter it's already at 43.6 volts maybe from the last setting that i had it so now what we have to do is to adjust the output voltage potentiometer here to get to about 72 volts all right, so we'll keep an eye on that. We're at 55 volts. All right, guys, we are at 72 volts precisely. And now we are going to bring in our battery system. All right. So we have our battery system connected. And as you can see, the voltage dropped to 61.4 volts, showing us that we're actually now measuring the, the rising voltage of the battery pack. And given that these batteries are lead acid batteries, not lithium ion or lithium phosphate batteries, they only charge in one mode, which is the constant voltage mode. So which means that the battery system voltage will continue to increase while the charging current gets adjusted. Yeah, but since I've not charged these batteries, these are pretty much old batteries. So sometimes they will need some time to actually wake up and start pulling a lot of current. All right. Also, as I was mentioning, do uh, you guys remember that we had to dial down the charging current? So now let's increase the, the charging current back up. Uh, but we're going to pay attention now to exceed about 2 amps. All right. It's jumping up. All right. All right, as you can see, we are now at 1.75 amps at a battery voltage of 71.8 volts. So as I was saying earlier, with older batteries that haven't been charged in a while, sometimes it takes a little time for the battery cells to wake up. So expect to see the charging current going up a little bit 
stabilize, then begin to fall back down. All right, guys, um, that's really what I wanted to cover in this video. And um, as I mentioned, we are getting ready to do some really, really rugged testing on this um, DC to DC boost converter. We're gonna be covering a whole lot on this testing. We're gonna be doing an Amazon review and we're gonna be covering the type of components, the drive MOSFET and the rectifier diodes that they're using. We'll look at the specs. For those of you guys that may be interested in uh, designing something like this, yeah. All right, guys, uh, if you want to see that video, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab so you get notified when we release that video in a few days. All right, my friends, I hope you got some good information from this video. I hope you uh, found it interesting. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. All right, my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video.